Multiversity. The just number one. What happens when the superheroes did too good of a job and their kids aren't really needed anymore? They get really bored. That's what this pretty much says and what we uh, discover through this. Starts off and gets kicked off with the suicide of a hero. I originally thought of boredom, but of course, not quite that. It's a haunted comic book, as is the connecting tissue between all these multiversity issues, which is something that I'm enjoying a lot. I know a lot of people, as with most of Morrison's work, either you kind of get it or you don't. There's not a lot in between. Either you're really on board or you're not. A lot of really interesting things in here. We get to see heroes just kind of basically LARPing, uh, reliving crises, reliving big events, playing with old ideas. Uh, even though they are heroes, there's not much going on in their life. They've turned into celebrities. They're just bored looking for something to do. Uh, very much, of course, a critique on modern culture, as you can see it's not by the cover, <coughs> but with heroes replaced. Uh, really, really fun, really interesting. I feel like this issue can grab people who have read comics for decades or are just picking it up. Uh, it's really cool and interesting take on these characters. I really love how Damien and Superman are portrayed in this issue. Uh, this is a really cool, I won't spoil it, but something cool going with Superboy. As you can see on the cover, he's an artist now. But why? All this and more inside. Uh, really love this multiversity story so far. Uh, really something cool that uh, I was kind of shocked at how much I enjoyed it. We've just seen the previous multiversity issues in this issue as they're talking about different dimensions. The mind games as you're reading it that are being played with you is something that not a lot of comics do, so it's always refreshing when one does it. I really actually enjoyed the uh, Lex Luthor's daughter, Alexis Luthor's character, trying to prove herself to be more than just a villain. And without spoiling it, you can see how it goes. I'm not going to try to spoil this since it just came out yesterday. But I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it, so I'm going to do a quick video on it. The artwork throughout is really gorgeous. The... Uh, story I loved. I loved seeing a lot of the heroes in a light that uh, we haven't seen them in before. The Earth Me. And overall, I would highly suggest if you're a fan of Multiversity so far, pick it up. Or of course, if you're a fan of Elseworld, tell, pick it up. But if you're a fan of that, you're already picking it up. So either way, I would say give it a chance. Uh, if you're not digging Multiversity, it's not going to change your mind on it too much. So anyway, Multiversity, let's do a quick video for it. Uh, continuing being really strong. Curious to see where it goes because you know, my only fault with it right now is even though they're all connecting, they're not connecting a ton. So I'm hoping the last few issues aren't just rushed together. I have a fear that could happen, but a lot of faith that it won't. That's my only fear right now. So anyway, Multiversity, I really like it. See you guys in another review or video.